reopen it. Geometry group. Okay, so all is good. Now we want them to be. So we want this to be up here. We want it to be. This to be up. And let's add this to the geometry group. Okay, so now that we have a <coughs> now they have a better view of it, we're going to now uh, change the placement. So add this. Negative fifty, uh, fifty, negative ten, negative twenty five, forty, twenty. Okay, that's good. Now, um, so we pretty much have all of our trees and everything together. Let's just pause, save. Now this, oh, should we leave that there? Oh no! All right, so we're gonna move this palm here. Which one is it? Hmm. Oh, just leave it. Alright, so now we want to move our camera to a nice position where we can take the render. Oh, before we do, we have to also add the plane in. Almost forgot. So, add objects, mesh, plane, add. We're also going to be add an input, add the plane. Okay, and change the color to change it to a diffuse and change it to uh, a dirt color. I didn't UV wrap this, sorry. Now, with the um, what I what I found um, is to change the direct lighting to a channel pass, which I will do a tutorial on tutorial on soon but it's much more easier just going past oh so much more easier much more fluid get a good scene which can get a lot of foliage out of uh, about here around here Okay, file, save, change it to direct lighting. Oh, magnificent. I'm amazed myself. Oh, that's beautiful. Jesus. That's so good. Alright, so now we want to... Um, it will be good with a lot more trees there. And uh, I'm, I'm just amazed how much little 
RAM we've used, little RAM we've used. That's amazing. So change this to um, the usual. Oh, let's make it 190 by 180. File, save. Pause. Now let's just change our. Uh, ah, uh, should we keep it? Move the camera back a little bit. Alright, uh, that's good. Uh, save, um, go to path tracing, enable ch uh, alpha channel, and put the max depth to about, about 100 or so. Save it because this, this might crash it. It might, might not, but just be safe. Okay, so it's just started rendering and path tracing. It's going very slow. We have a lot of um, nodes here. And just pause it. Wait a minute. Oh, there, there we go. Alright, so let's pause it for a sec and let's just uh, lock it. And light. Oh, don't enlarge it, sorry. Uh, Let's go to the film properties and let's change it, give a bit of a makeover. Give it a bit of a color tone, color preset. That's good. We can easily just channel that out. And press OK to render. Okay, so this pretty much uh, concludes um, my tutorial for the placement node um, and the geometry group. As you can see, it is extremely powerful, very user-friendly. For the next tutorial, I'll be going through my I'll be going through the scattering node, however that requires, uh, I'll be making, I'll be getting a friend to write a program that can generate random numbers for for the scattering node because it, in, it requires numbers. The matrices that it stores is very hard to do it manually because, I mean, could you be bothered writing a hundred lines of trans, trans translation, rotation, scaling numbers by hand. Don't think you would. It's mostly built for the other programs. So I'll be generating that or I might get a friend to I think a friend on the forum is making one. So I might contact him. But yep, hope you enjoy the video. It's about four thirty eight minutes long, meaning that this video will probably be in fifteen twenty five be in three parts. So but it will only count as one video. But I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.